What's up, YouTube team? Um, it's been a while. Quick update. I've sold the white Corvette and bought some other cars. So let's go look at one in the garage. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of automotive changes in my garage the last, geez, five, six months. Uh, life has been hectic. Finally finished my MBA. Yeah, quick little update. The white Corvette is no more. Found this guy. Uh, I got an Audi A5. I'll picture it here. Uh, this is kind of an interim Corvette until I can secure a C8. Uh, it might be a little bit with all the uh, plant closures, etc. So I wanted to do a quick little video. So this is, geez, my sixth Corvette, I think. I've owned a couple of C5s, C6s, a C7, and this is actually my first C5, which is pretty nuts. And if you know anything about Corvettes, you can tell by just looking at it that it's the uh, Z06. I've always liked the yellow on a Corvette. One of my C5s and my 95 was a yellow uh, Corvette. And uh, it seems to draw a lot more attention. Yeah, this car is almost 20 years old and just driving me home the other day. Uh, people just staring at it, thumbs up even. So, I've had this car a short time, but I feel like it gets more attention than my white C7 did, which is pretty crazy for such an old car. Now, a little bit about this car. It's a 01. It's got roughly 80,000 miles on it. Whoever had it before me, there's a couple of owners prior to me, took really good care of it. And some things I was gonna do anyways that this car already has. Um, the exhaust, headers, intake, um, catch can, uh, shocks all the way around, um, short throw shifter, done. Brand new tires on it. And this car is so, incredibly clean. It's almost in better condition than my C7, which is pretty nuts. This thing has no curb rash at all. The tires look like they were built yesterday, which is nuts, so the rims rather. The interior is in flawless shape. It's got the... Let me show you real quick. So yeah, here's the interior. Uh, the guy I got it from, or I should say the dealer I got it from, says this is a super rare combination. I don't know if I believe that, but uh, I guess the red with the yellow, it's not too common. Um, this is a fixed roof coupe, if you're not familiar with the Z06s, which means it does not, uh, the target top does not come off, which personally, I, I kind of like that. It's a lot more rigid. The seats have no cracking whatsoever, both sides. It's pretty nuts for how old this car is. Carpet's in good shape. The only real wear is around the shifter right there, but I can easily remedy that. The paint on this thing is exceptional. Yeah, whoever had it prior to me took really, really good care of it. It's pretty nuts. And again, the tires, no curb rash on any of the rims, which is pretty gnarly. So, most things I was gonna do, <laughs> looks like they've already been done, so that'll save me a lot of time and effort. It doesn't really come through that well, the exhaust, the cold startup. This thing's obnoxiously loud. I like a loud car, but it's almost too loud. Uh, when I started it and I was driving home, I was like, I don't know if I can live with this. But it's been about a week and it's kind of grown on me. I kind of like it. I'm sure my neighbors aren't too fond of it, but whatever. A few things I do want to do to it that I'd love to do is a better stereo, uh, head unit rather. Seats, these seats are pristine condition. So if anyone's looking for red C5 Z06 seats, let me know. I will be changing these out and I'll probably give them to you for a good deal. Uh, what else? 
probably switch out the floor mats. These ones are kind of goofy. Not a huge fan of them. What else? What else? The back window tent. Yeah, use a little bit of love. I might get that changed out, but it's not it's not bad by any means. And I might switch the uh, the red shift boot now for just a plain OEM black. I think the black will look better personally. And I do want to somehow throw in a backup camera, maybe in the in the mirror and aftermarket deal. We'll see. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick sit rep. Uh, so yeah, I do have a little more downtime finally. Hopefully, I get some more content, some fun C5 content. Uh, I will say, I know it's kind of premature, but of all the Corvettes I've owned, this one might be the most fun I've had. It's just raw and gritty, and uh, it's it's quick, it's fast, it's much lighter than the C7. It just, I, ha I have more fun driving it, I'll be honest. Uh, I do want to do a comparison video in the next couple of weeks to maybe do a POV driving around in this guy and just talking about the differences between the C4, 5, 6, and 7 because I've been an owner of all of them and hopefully if anyone's in the market for any one of those I can kind of help you uh, with what you're looking for what might be the best fit for you one thing I was shocked about the insurance on this I mean I'm older, I'm, I'm 35 but the insurance on this is actually really cheap I was kind of shocked about that but yeah, stay tuned I hope to have a lot more C5, Z06 content in the near future. I'm open to suggestions of what you guys think I should do to it, or if I'm, if I'm missing anything that should be done to it. Also, it looks like whoever had this prior to me already did the valve springs. I opened up the uh, oil cap and looked down inside from a bore scope and they're blue. So I think they're already done, so that's a huge win. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with it and uh, should be a fun toy for the summer. Yeah, stand by for more fun C5 content. Later, guys.